All right, guys, we're on site. About to get this ring access controller installed on this gate. We already have our Cat 6 buried. We're just going to go right here with the pole. But I think I'm setting myself up for this pole to get hit. So we're going to move the pole over here behind this little chain link fence. Our Cat 6 wire is buried along right here. Then it goes underneath the driveway, over here, and then from over here, it goes all the way to the house, over there on that side of the house. That's where our modem's at. Um, that's about it. Here's our pole. It's about 72 inches. We need this thing, so we're going to drop about 30 inches in the ground because we want that thing to sit right at, right at about 40 inches. Got a bag of concrete. We'll set that in there. And that's about it for now. We get started digging a hole. All right, guys, I got it marked out just about where I want the hole right there. So we need to go down about 27 inches. I want my hole big enough to fit the pole in there and put my concrete in there. All right, guys, we dug our hole out, and stuck my pole in there. It's roughly about 44, 45 inches. Stick some concrete in there, mix it up with a little bit of water, and our pole's in position. And here's our wire right here. We're gonna run up, we we'll drill a little hole on the side and make that do what it do. But this is what our video doorbell is going to get attached to. All right, y'all. I ain't going to lie. Digging this hole with some back breaking business all day. I just want to check the level real quick. too bad so we're gonna dump our concrete in there right now Pretty legit to me. All right, this ain't my lunch, y'all. It's actually water. Got my bucket, so I had to go find something on the property. All right, guys. So we got the wire through the pole. The little boxes I was getting from Home Depot. Made like a little entrance down there, siliconed it up. I drilled a hole. I drilled a hole in the uh, in the back of the pedestal. 
have our direct burial coming into it from there. Uh, and I put some silicone in the bottom to keep the bugs and worms and stuff out of there. The wire comes up through the pole. It's coming out here. This is where it's going to go into our ring of leak. All right, guys, we're back on site. Pulled the cover off of our Dora King gate here gate controller so you guys can see we'll be hooked up but this is a door king model 4502 that we integrated with model 4502 I don't know if you can see that and then here's all of our electronics behind the wall back here and this is what our telex sent us the uh people to manufacture the box sent us gray boxes with green air vents on it last time they were gray with gray uh black air vents so uh, just whatever they got is what they're sending because they don't seem to have all the parts they need to match the boxes up But it doesn't stop its performance So let's roll through these components real quick We have our hike vision five port switch We have our ring uh, Elite poe injector and then we have our ring access controller pro 2 All right, I added my power strip right here with surge protection on it that goes into our plug over here that came with the box all right that box <clears throat> the wire I'm sorry it came with a plug I cut the plug in and wired into electricity of the gate itself you guys got to figure that part out or hire an electrician but I did it myself and I, I hardwired into the electricity that's inside of here I'm not an electrician but I know a little bit all right so we have that had our surge protection and our components up here all right, um, as far as our connections, our ethernet comes in from the house. It comes into our, um, our access, not our access controller, into our switch. From our switch, we're running another connection from here to our PoE injector. This goes to the ring elite at the gate. And then this access controller here will do cell or it'll do um, ethernet. We chose to go the Ethernet route with the cell as a backup. I believe this, the Ethernet is a little bit faster. But when we first hooked it up, we were operating off a of cell and it was doing pretty damn good. But we're going the Ethernet route. For those of you that may ask, well, why do you have a five port switch with PoE? Well, in case we want to do some future expansion, customer may want to add um, some cameras out here. Um, we actually may add some Wi Fi out here too with some Euro devices. This particular person wants to do some smart lights out here control from his Lutron that's in the house. So that's why we have a five port switch. Um, this ring access controller comes with the cell antenna, which we mounted to the top of the box. There's our screw underneath there to kind of screw it in place. It's a great place for it. Ring had done a signal meter test on it and it worked pretty good. All right, close that up. Somebody's calling me. Let me send them the voicemail. Hold on, y'all. Over here for the um, connection to the actual gate controller. All right. So the the ring device itself. Actually, let me go back to that real quick. This device right here, right? We got our power connection that we have plugged in over here, but then we also have ports uh, five and six. It's just a relay, right? Five and six of this plug. You guys can't see it. But on five and six, what happens when they send the signal, it's like taking the two wires and boom, they're, they're connecting, right? It's just a relay that happens like that when they send the signal or you send the signal from your phone. So all we're doing is we're sending a signal from here to here to tell this thing to open, all right? So when that signal sends, we have a wire that we ran our wire down and through the pipes. And this is my wire right here, all right? So we're connected on this particular device to number 20, and then we're going to the key open loop, all right? I'm sorry, not key open loop, number 11. We're hooked up to number 11, all right? And we're hooked up to number 11, because that's how they had this gate wired up. I don't need the gate people comment in the comments talking about, well, why'd you do it that way? Because we could have done it to number 13, which is the open loop and common. 19 and 20 is common. So we could have done it to 13, to 13, which is open, and to common. 
and it's the same thing. Send a, send a signal like that, this gate will pop and open. This gate will pop open. But here's the thing with this particular gate. This particular gate, this particular house, they're only using a transmitter that pops the gate. And then they have a key fob, not a key fob, they have a punch button on the other side of the gate. So they don't have no closed loops. The gate stays open until they hit the button to close it again. So there is no nothing other to hook up. I don't need no gate people comment and tell me what should have happened, would have happened and all that good stuff. We're hooking up how the homeowner has the house and that's how we're hooking it back up, all right? So I did 20 and I did key. The same thing that they have this wireless transmitter thing here hooked up to. So whenever we send a signal from the ring device uh, to this gate opener, the gate's gonna either open or it's gonna close, all right? So they send the signal, it makes number 20, and it makes number 11 connect, and the gate does what it does, opens or closes, all right? We come from back here. I'm gonna open the gate. I don't actually have a client's phone in my hand right now. I'm gonna use the key fob. I'm gonna go get the, the phone in a minute. Uh, here's the pole we put in. We're working on that in the other part of the video with the Ring Elite out here. Customer chose to go with the brown cover and we just screwed it in from the back. And I put some silicone around it. Even though the front side is pretty well solid and weatherproof, just wanted to make sure we didn't have no water getting in from the back side and uh, put a little silicone on the top. Our ethernet wire goes in and it goes down to a little junction box I made down here. And it's going all the way to the house. And that's our connection right there. All right. And from here, go all the way to the house. Okay, here's our wire coming up. And going into the house is where we penetrated right there, right below where the fire brush come into the house. So we go to the house. And then over here is where the wire comes in, right here. Put a little bit of silicone and the cap. And then we're plugged into our internet. All right, guys, we're back at the gate. So I said you guys got a visitor. They will hit the button on the gate, activate the ring. You will get an alert on your phone that somebody's at your gate. You see them there. You can decide if you want to let them in. If you want to let them in, you hit your control button at the bottom and you activate the gate. Look how slick that is. The ring access controller. Now this particular situation, as I said earlier, they don't have, the gate doesn't shut itself back. So if you want to shut the gate back again, um, you can go ahead and just hit the button again. It activates and it'll lock the gate back. Boom, just like that.